TikTok, Ann, plans to bring its videos to commercial venues for the first time. According to TechCrunch, TikTok is partnering with Atmosphere, a startup that provides licensed and curated streamed video content for commercial venues to places like Westin Hotels, Taco Bell, and everyone's favorite doctor's offices, gyms, and other venues where people spend time. Initially, the partner will see, partnership will see Atmosphere develop a new channel on its platform dedicated to curated TikTok videos, and this will be the first time that TikTok content is being used for an out-of-home video service, which is important. And you also fought me hard for this story. I think I'd kowtow to you on almost every one of these stories now that I'm thinking about it. No. Tell the audience why, please. Okay, I love this move. I think there is absolutely nothing wrong with getting TikTok in front of more people on more screens, out of home just being like the gateway to doing that. We know that out of home is one of the most successful advertising platforms that's out there right now. It saw a resurgence over the last few years. And I think that <clears throat> where I see this going next is that it's going to start to go into bringing the short form content to more audiences and more places, including the screens at home. Like once you start to bring TikTok as an app on your smart TV, the way that you kind of following the path of YouTube. Um, and just, I, I did Google this and found some data, data from Google that in 2020, pre-pandemic, mind you, more than 100 million people in the U.S. alone, that's not counting, and there's larger numbers outside of the U.S., now watch YouTube and YouTube TV on their TV screens at home, That's which crazy. I think shows you that, you know, this is just, this is a platform that we're seeing grow in popularity that we're seeing grow shopping from this platform is growing in popularity too. And so I think as this kind of continues to evolve both in out of home in people's TV screens at home, I think that we're going to start seeing, you know, how shopping starts to play into this as well. And it become more ubiquitous um, as an entertainment source. We know this is something that people crave and enjoy. And to be able to watch somebody like, I don't know, doing a dance video before you go get your pap smear, what could be better? Okay, didn't think you're gonna take it there. Wow, um, this is one headline. I don't even know if I can recover from that. This is one <laughs> headline that, that you found before that I, I think you, you convinced me. I think, this is, I think this is big. The other thing you made me think of real quick, why hasn't Apple come out with like a big F off, like iPad, like television, you know, where it's like a touch screen and like, you can just interact with it, like with a remote, like a sensor that tells you where you are and you can just interact. I don't know, but it seems like there's an opportunity there for me, especially with, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something YouTube. we're not thinking about. Yeah. There. There's that something doesn't... there, but like, why haven't they come up with that? But like, it makes sense to me. Cause that's what holds me back from doing it is the user <laughs> interface of a general television. But sure. at this point, I just want a big screen that works. Like I mean, a I phone. guess they're doing that with Apple TV. It's just, they're using TVs, which are probably less expensive, sort of, but it's still working through the whole TV. But anyway, we digress. We anyway, digress. But anyway, I, I think, I think your point is right. I mean, video is undoubtedly the future. The thing that's been clear to me in the last few weeks and the biggest aha I've actually had in the last couple of weeks and I, this came from our interview with Firework, actually, which will debut next week for you guys, is that, that this whole concept of live streaming in is actually the, the wrong word entirely. Like the live streaming right. is overhyped, that it's really about short form video content and distribution. That's what we're talking about. Now, that could take the form of distribution via live stream, but it's also very powerful as recorded content dispersed in the right places. In fact, it's probably even more so that way. That's dispersed what, in multiple places. Yeah. Right. And that's what retail needs to get behind is the creation, collation, uh, cataloging of short form video content. Live stream is just a piece, but it's not the whole enchilada. So a move like this, putting TikTok creator content in front of more eyeballs, I agree with you. It's a win-win idea. It's only going to grow. It's something for retailers to understand and continue to learn more about. I love it. I'm glad that you're behind. You convinced this. me, Ann. You convinced That's exciting. me. So you were, okay. you were rightly, rightfully salty. You were like the salt on a pretzel for me. Oh, I'm glad that you get one. to tell me when I get to be salty. I'm going to yes. remember that. I'm going to be yes. telling you, Chris Walton, when you and the, the past year drop was forward. an all timer too, by the way. So thank you for <laughs> including that.